All right, we have a very interesting amount of trades to show you today yes. from the same teams. And guess what? It's from our India League again. This mm -hmm. India League keeps putting out blockbuster after blockbuster. And Billy Spriggs, man, he is the he's the engine room of trades in some of these leagues. <laughs> he's doing his we, thing. <laughs> uh, every week we show you guys a trade from, from our follower leagues over on, on our Patreon. This one is from Jared and Billy. Now, friendly reminder, the last time we covered a trade on this video series, it was Jared and TC. Mm -hmm. So I just want to throw that trade up real quick because we talked about that. You know, um, TC got Kyler Murray. Jared got Bateman a first. Matt Ryan, Watson, Mariota. And um, I think, you know, we, we broke down that trade in detail. We looked at the context. I think our overall thoughts and our response was, I mean, we really feel like Jared should have kept Kyler because his team was ready to win. He just needed an elite quarterback. Exactly. Now we have a couple trades that both Jared and Billy have made this week to show you guys. So this is the trade in particular that we're going to cover. Um, but they also made a trade right after this one. So it's been chaos in that league. But all right, let's look at this trade. Here we go. Jared got Juju, Pat Mahomes, Hassan Haskins, and a 23 first. So even though last week we said, you know, you, you really should have kept like these elite quarterbacks. That's who we think that you, you're missing. Mm -hmm. He went out this week and got an elite quarterback uh, in Pat Mahomes. Now, he yeah. gave away Matt Ryan, Jacoby Myers, Justin Jefferson was obviously the big piece here, Antonio Gibson, um, a third and a second. Um, and we're going to break that trade down uh, in particular, and then we're going to show you another trade. I think we should show them later, Badaki. Yes, the exactly. The other trade that, that's happened in this league mm -hmm. right after this. But, okay, so without context, we will look at context in a second. But without context, where do you kind of sit on this trade between Jared and Billy? Yeah, I think Jared kind of takes it here. getting, And I think with the yeah. context that we have from last week, he had Kyler Murray, he traded it away, and then he essentially flips Kyler Murray to get Patrick Mahomes. And yeah. not only does he get Patrick Mahomes, he also gets a 23 first back as well. Um, yeah, at the that's, that was the big part for me. I was like, wow, how yeah. did he get the first as well? He, he definitely gives up Justin Jefferson, um, yeah. which is a you know, massive part. But I think with that 23 first, that can be anyone in the wide receiver room. Yeah. Or you do have Juju, who may not be the long-term answer there. But at least if he does get goes to another team, he might be a good flex option. He's not a Justin Jefferson. He's not anything crazy. Um, but at least he has that. Maybe Hassan Haskins. Maybe he does take the one-year role when Henry's out. Whatever the case may be. But um, I think for me right now, Jared takes the cake. It's pretty easy. It's simple. Straight to the point. He goes from yeah. Kyler Murray, which was, what, the QB5, depending on... Um, yeah, it depends community, on who you community are. Community consensus like where, where right now, QB7. Yeah. Patch, yeah. all, and then he bumps it up to Patch Mahomes. Community consensus QB three, so a significant yeah. upgrade there in the in the okay. quarterback room. So yeah, this one's hard for me because obviously in a super flex league, I feel like it's almost impossible for me to not lean towards the superstar quarterback. Mm -hmm. You know, um, in in my home leagues and in our leagues, my biggest goal when building a team is to have two superstar quarterbacks um, that I can really build around like long term. You know, mm -hmm. in our home league, as you know. Badaki, I made a big trade for Kyler Murray last year um, and, you know, gave up a similar package, I would say. Yeah. Um, and now I have Kyler Murray, Patrick Mahomes. Like, I just really feel like these quarterbacks being the anchor of your team on a weekly basis, if you're going to go and compete at some point, that gives you this, this flexibility moving forward with the rest of your roster because you know those quarterbacks aren't going to let you down. Right. Um, but I think you nailed it on the head. The 23 first is where it goes overboard for me. Um, I think if you take that 23 first out, that's when it becomes a little bit more even value. Like mm -hmm. take all the picks out, right? Take the first out, take the third and the second on the other side. And I think maybe I can see where this becomes more value for both sides. But again, it's just our opinions, it, you know, black and white. We'll show the other trade as well here in a second. Yeah. But yeah. for this trade, I am going to lead Jared's side with Patrick Mahomes in the 23 first. Um, love Justin Jefferson. He's at, at the moment, he's the clear wide receiver one in dynasty, but I'm curious to see what Billy's doing. Like, because even if you're sending, Mah if you're sending Mahomes away, are you trying to rebuild, but you lost a first round pick? Do you know what I mean? Like, I think the context is going to be so, so important. Um, but let's go ahead. And so we both agree that we're on the, the Pat Mahomes side of this with Jared. 
But let's go to the next trade and just kind of see, you know, if anything got better or worse. So the next trade, you see Jared gets D Hop, uh, yep. Dalvin Cook, Antonio Gibson. So Gibson goes back to Jared after just being traded to him, um, which I, I find funny. Uh, and then Billy gets <laughs> CMC, Josh Reynolds, and Alan Lazard. So, you know, CMC is obviously the big piece here for Billy. Yeah. Um, the community is quite split on CMC. Where do you stand here on this trade? Yeah, this one's very interesting. And I don't know where to go here, to be honest. I like I like mm. D-Hop. Um, and I think he's a lot more valuable than Lazard and Josh Reynolds, obviously. But how much longer does he have? Um, yeah. And he's older. Maybe he does have a year or two. Lazard can go anywhere else. Um, well, the weird thing about Lazard, like trying to gauge his value, mm -hmm. is he feels much older than he is. He's only 26 years old. Exactly. And that's why I find it. That's This is what I was saying. Like, he can go anywhere else. What if he goes to um you know kansas city with patrick Mahomes. i feel like if he goes anywhere else that ruins his value like i need him to be one of those guys who like develops with aaron and, and but what if he goes to like a guy. superstar guy you know yeah yeah because i think like he can definitely be valuable and i think that that's his that would be his market a cheap reliable guy that you can come and and, and bring in but i am going to go you know d hop cooks just purely based on the longevity of these guys i think josh reynolds just just it's just, yeah. it just means nothing sure. to me, you know? So, yeah. And longevity means, once again, the longevity, I mean, like another a year or two. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. So, give me D Hop, Gibson, and Dalvin Cook to be completely I think honest. D Hop and Alan Lazard side of this trade is much, much closer than a lot of people would want to realize. I mean, Alan Lazard, only 26 years old, he looks pretty good, I mean, in the last couple of weeks. And he has the most trust right now with Aaron. I mean, could that develop? Maybe. Yeah. But Dobbs and, and Watson are definitely on deck. They could take those roles. Mm -hmm. um, and then with D-Hop, with his age, I mean, how old is D-Hop right now? 30. 30. Yeah. Um, only getting older. Antonio Gibson, we don't know what his role is going to be. Dalvin Cook with the injury history. So I understand what Billy's doing here, getting C Christian McCaffrey. But overall, in a vacuum, I feel like I understand where these trades are sending Jared. I haven't seen Billy's team yet, so I need to see his team. But mm -hmm. I understand that all these trades are sending Jared in a win now perspective, and I like that. Like I understand the direction right. of of where he's going, if that makes sense. So yeah, I hear you. Context is going to be ultra important as always. Let's go ahead and look at their teams side by side. We'll start with Jared's team on the left. Mm -hmm. He has Patrick Mahomes from that trade, Dalvin Cook, which he got in you know in the trade as well. Right, that, that second trade. Josh Jacobs, Jalen Waddle, Juju. Andrews, Akers, Gibson, Rogers, Mariota uh, on the bench, Drew Locke, McKinnon, and then, you know, D Hop's there as well, and Watson. So, I mean, to be honest, like his, I guess D Hop is there, but yeah, the bench is, the bench is a little weak. Benches, like, I, I do worry weak. a little bit about Jared's um, ability to cover for buys and injuries. Yeah. And, I mean, and so, you're starting Cam and Gibson here in the lineup, as well as Juju. This is this could get really risky here. For maybe him. moves once again. Moves aren't done. I mean, we saw it yeah, that's early true. in the week. A lot of moves being made, so maybe he's still there's still the yeah. building process, and maybe De DeAndre Hopkins, even though he he got him for literally nothing right now, once he's on the field getting sure you know sure. 15 points a game, whatever the case may be, maybe he can flip him for a younger piece to another win now team. So, uh, yeah, very interesting. I'd say probably like the biggest hope here for Jared is that D Hop comes back. He's a top 12 to 20 wide receiver and he can stick him in his flex. Yeah. Yeah. But then, you know, my, my struggles is with, uh, Juju acres and Gibson, you know, having these three guys that you're having to decide each week in both of your flex spots, it's just not one flex that you have to cover. I think that's going to be hard. Mm -hmm. to um to you know go into the playoffs with and, and rely on these guys to to get you to a championship however i mean he's got mark andrews he's got aaron Rodgers, which is a competent quarterback too so interesting you know i thought we'd see more depth on jared's team but you're right like trades aren't done now let's look at billy's team billy on the he's street he's got Derek carr cmc <laughs> Derek henry justin jefferson lazard hawkinson Najee thielen matt ryan okay this feels I'm, like a more complete team, a more win-now-ready team. Yeah. I mean, I agree, but I'm still confused because you when you lose Pat Mahomes, now you're relying on Derek Carr and Matt Ryan. Yeah. Let me just see who he has on his 
because he has Trubisky there. I wonder if he has Kenny. Yeah, on, that's a good good point. Does on he have his, Kenny on the taxi, um, on his taxi there. I'm just pulling up his team here. Sorry, so if the, I'm looking the down, the bench isn't isn't awful. I mean, you got Herb Smith there. He I does have Kenny nice in his taxi. Piece. Sorry, he does have Kenny in his taxi. Okay, he does have Kenny in his taxi. So he can definitely in in our he league can call you can Kenny elevate. Up. Yeah, you can elevate them, but you can't put somebody back on the taxi. Um, so yeah. I think that could be the move here. Um, Let's say he elevates Kenny and then he drops. I mean, right now I feel like Logan Thomas you could potentially mm-hmm. drop or Hilliard Parker maybe. or Hilliard maybe. Yeah, yeah. Hilliard then, might be the most obvious because I think in that in that second quarterback um, option there with Matt Ryan and. Kenny is just going to be based off matchup, you know? Yeah. I think he's just yeah. going to be flipping it back and forth. He has a young quarterback. Agreed. He doesn't have Derek. Uh, he has Derek Carr, who did sign a three-year contract extension. Still struggling, but he's he's getting you the points, I guess you can say. But, yeah. Yeah, he's he's not been, like, he's, woeful. He's, he's been, not he's Patrick been, Mahomes, okay. but, I mean, yeah, he yeah. he can definitely give you a good even amount with getting Justin Jefferson, who really takes the cake, feels like, every single week. Mm. Um, maybe he needs to flip Hawkinson now with with that what thirty four point game. <laughs> yeah, well, I think most of the people in these leagues follow our channel. So yeah, I know. <laughs> they'll see that trade away. I, I said, um, can I be honest? Like, I'm really confused now. Uh I guess like the big reason is to get Justin Jefferson, Billy. Again, like if there's context that I've left out, let us know. But at the same time, before these two trades. Like, Billy's starting lineup would have been Derek Carr, Pat Mahomes. Okay, those were his quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. Um, his running backs would have been Dalvin Cook, Derek Henry, um, Antonio Gibson, Najee Harris. That's right. more than enough for me. His wide receiver room would have not had a Jefferson, but it would have had D-Hop coming back soon. Um, mm-hmm. It would have had Juju. Which, again, like, not all that reliable. And I guess, like, now that I'm talking it out, there's not a ton of reliable wide receivers on this team. So no. maybe that's where maybe that's where he was like, I need to get Jefferson into this wide receiver room. Because you take Justin Jefferson away, it's D-Hop, Lazard, Thielen. Like, this is an old-ass wide receiver room with IU, who still has potential, untapped potential. Yeah, he has so I guess maybe that's Thielen where he's well. coming from. Yeah. That could be where he's coming from here. I actually don't mind Billy's team. I know you give up Patrick Mahomes, but you do get Justin Jefferson. Um, yeah. I, I think it all depends on the the context because he did give away a 23 first, so I'm assuming he doesn't have that first anymore. I feel like well, let's, Jared's... Let's have a look at their, their uh, trade capital now. So here's Jared. Here's Billy on the side. So Billy, yeah, you're right. He doesn't have a first in 2023. Or 2024. So, so he he's doesn't... all in. Or, yeah. or 24, you're right. He's all in. Uh, He's currently two and two and two, if I'm not mistaken. They're both two and two. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, Jared has one, two, three first round picks in 2023. With the team of Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Waddle, Mark Andrews. You know, mm-hmm. he does have a little bit of an older running back room with Dalvin. Um, and you yeah. know, Cam is on the decline, Gibson on the decline, so he can get a running back. He could also get a wide yeah. receiver. And he has Aaron Rodgers. So does he get? I mean, he can get all three positions depending on how his uh, how the draft falls and how where those picks are. He can get a quarterback, wide receiver, and a running back, all potentially in the first round, and then yeah. have a really solid team. But I mean, that's really hard to do and accomplish, to be honest. Yeah, this is this is really really intriguing here. Um, the first really puts Jared over the edge. Yeah, when we look at that initial trade mm-hmm. of Pat Mahomes again, I think it's that first round pick that really puts him over the edge, but. To know Jared has this team and still three firsts to work with, I mean, he could easily figure out these flex spots. Yeah, exactly. Or he can hold on. It just depends if he wants to go all in this year or not. Mm. If Jared feels like he's got the ammunition to go all in and win this year, then he should make that trade. But yeah, agree. Make those trades. Anyway, so you, why don't you guys... Uh, it's interesting. Yeah, I don't know where to stand. I truly don't know where to stand. I mean, after the context, I understand where Billy's coming from, but I still am going to Jared's side of both of these trades. Yeah. I agree. I think it's very close, in my opinion. Without yeah. the, once again, I think the the trade context really takes it over the edge. But without it, um, yeah. I do believe this team is very close in, in I guess production. Yeah, you know for sure. Is, I has, mean, they they could be end up fighting each other in the playoffs. Yeah, we'll see. 
Anyway, guys, why don't you comment down below? Let us know what you think about these trades, where you sit. Billy, Jared, uh, we always leave out a little bit of context that we might not know. So let huge us know love. if we're missing anything. But mm -hmm. huge love. And uh, thanks for letting us show your trades. And um, yeah, see you guys next week. Yo, what's good? Love. Thanks for watching. We got a lot more videos. A lot more. If you want more videos. Watch now, it. You can also subscribe. Right now. If you want to. You need to. And lastly, don't forget that you can sign up to support the show mm -hmm. and get exclusive content by going to patreon.com forward slash fantasyland fam.